Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Welcome to this uh, seminar this afternoon on uh, banking union, a very timely and uh, interesting topic, probably, arguably, the biggest integration push in the European Union since the introduction of the single currency, the euro. Uh, despite its size and importance, it's actually moving, moving along quite fast since the first idea was floated in the middle of 2012. Uh, it looks quite likely that we'll see the whole project legislated by mid-April, which is less than two years. It's lightning speed in terms of EU policy making. Uh, you will hear all about it from our distinguished speakers uh, later on, but to sort of frame the discussion, the banking union is supposed to be uh, set up or made up of two parts, a supervision part, the single supervision mechanism for all U U Eurozone banks. Uh, that is already decided, and the European Central Bank is ready to take over its new duties from November. I was preparing for it. And uh, the second part is the single resolution mechanism for all Eurozone banks, and that is what is now being discussed. Um, actually, it is being discussed as we speak because now there is a trilogue going on uh, between the European Parliament, the Presidency, and the Commission, uh, which is one of why one of our speakers uh, could not make it this afternoon, Mrs. Uh, Elisa Ferreira, has to be uh, has to take part in the trilogue right now. Basically, the discussions now <coughs> focus on two things uh, that are always present in, in big time politics, namely power and money. So who's, uh, who will have the right to close down banks anywhere in the Eurozone and how? And who's going to pay and how for the winding down if it's necessary? <coughs> 